Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you and I picked up some pretty interesting things. I see something on the desk that I didn't put away from the last one. But in my last video, I think, I showed the Harry and David coffees, the breakfast blend and the vanilla creme brulee. I am actually trying it right now. <laughs> I have one of the Dollar Tree clips on. This was the bag of the creme brulee. I haven't tried the breakfast blend yet. This is good, guys. But I made the mistake of putting, I have a, um, it's like the, the Keurig pod machine, but it has the little cup that you can put ground coffee in and make it that way as well. I put way too much in the little cup. I didn't know how much to use. So it was pretty strong, but it's good. I like it a lot. Here's my cup. I did put a little bit of the sugar-free French vanilla creamer in it. This smells amazing. When I opened the bag, you could smell the vanilla. Very sweet, but it's not a sweet coffee. There's, I don't think there's sugar or anything added in this. It's just flavored coffee. This is yummy. I like it. I may pick up a couple more bags of this if I see it again. Hubby's coming in the door right now if you, if you hear something but I would pick this up again. It's, it's very good. So now I'm curious to try the breakfast blend. So if you guys have tried this, go ahead and comment down below and let me know your thoughts on it. But you definitely wanna go easy on it because it's pretty strong. I don't think I've ever used the little extra cup attachment thing, so I wasn't sure how much to put in it. So I will do less next time. But it was very, very rich, nice dark coffee color, which it isn't now because of my creamer, but it's good guys. And it, just, it smells good too. The, the, the aroma of that is excellent. So now I'm going to get back to what I showed in my thumbnail. They have paper dolls. Paper dolls at the Dollar Tree. And these are Barbie. And I believe they had another one as well. And I can't remember who she was. But I picked up just one of the Barbie. See if one of the grand ladies would want to play with this. I have not seen traditional paper dolls in forever. And it has all the clothes. I'm gonna show you on the back. I don't know if all, it looks like it. That's a lot of clothes. I was gonna say, I don't know if all these clothes come with it, but it sure looks like it. And it says you get one paper doll with stands and three fashion sheets. So you know what? I'm gonna open this real quick because this will go to one of the grand one of the grand ladies, so they won't care if I open it or not. I guarantee you if London sees this video, she'll be the one that messages me and says, save that for me. And if she does, I'll probably have to pick up another one. Let me go ahead and open this because I'm really curious to see. Okay, Barbie is, oh, that's just a cover. This is actually right on the cover. So let's go ahead and open this. It is packaged very nicely. Sorry guys, I'm curious and I'm sure that there's gonna be some of you that are as well. So that's why I'm doing this. Okay, you get a Barbie. And she seems very sturdy. It's, it's very thick. And it has the little cutouts where you would pop them out to put, I'm sure her shoes. It also has the little stands that you pop out of this, this sheet. And then let's look at the sheets and see. You get all of these clothes. They're gonna all come apart. It seems like they're very easy to come out of the sheets. All of those clothes. And then all of these clothes. They have shoes, little tops. I don't see any like little pieces of jewelry, but they do have some purses, hats, sunglasses. So there are, there is at least sunglasses on there. Super cute. So one of the grandkids, well, the grand girls anyway, I know our grandson, he won't appreciate that too much, but the grand ladies will. Super cute, Barbie. Excellent Christmas present, excellent toys for tots thing just wonderful and then a couple food items they have these in the freezer section now and these are $1.25 they are the from what does it say TJ premium 
the Smoothie Starter. And in this one, you get strawberry, banana, mango, and spinach. And it says, add your favorite juice, dairy, or non-dairy product. And it's an eight ounce of frozen fruits and veggies in here. We actually tried this and it's good. We liked it a lot. We would pick these up again and it makes a lot. You know, and it also depends on how much of the other liquid that you add, you know, how much you would make, but you can definitely get two servings out of this, maybe even three, because it says 1.5 servings per container, 80 calories. So you could definitely probably get three servings, depending on how much liquid you add, juice or milk or whatever you put in yours. But this was very tasty. So yeah, we will pick that up again. And then they still have the Russell Stover's, the sugar-free little, they kind of look like M&M brand. These are the chocolate candy gems. We really enjoy these a lot, and I'll keep picking these up as long as I see them in the store. This is the only Russell Stover sugar-free that we have seen. I wish they would bring back the others. And it is a two ounce bag, but you get a lot in here. And it says the whole bag is the serving. There is no way I would eat a whole bag of these. You know, just a few of them, it, you know, it's good. Good enough. So yeah, we picked up two to fill my little, my little uh, mason jar that I put them in. They're yummy. Where can I put these? We'll put that over here. And then they had this. This was new to us. Looks good. It is Thai kitchen fried rice, ready to eat. And it's an 8.8 .8 ounce non-GMO, and it says light and fluffy in 90 seconds. We're gonna have this one night as a side for supper. That just looks so good. And it says create your own bowl. You can add your favorite protein, vegetable, and toppings. And you just microwave it, wave it. And the um the best buy on this is April of 23. And one of you had asked in the comments, I think it was in a recent video. Why do I bother saying the expiration dates? Because people ask in the comments and instead of me having to type it out 10 times per video, you know, what the best buy is or expiration date, I just say it, it saves me time and it's not wasting my time by saying it. So yeah, this looked really good and I don't know if there were other flavors or not, but this is the fried rice quick, easy side. If you guys have tried this, let me know what you think of it. I think that's a pretty good deal for $1.25. And then they also had the rice roni brand in the chicken flavor. And it is a 6.9 ounce and it says homemade easy. I really like this. I like rice roni brand and I, chicken is probably my favorite. I also like the beef, but I didn't see any of that. So the, yeah, that just, you know, another night, that'll be another side. And the best buy is September of 23. Nice size box, 3.5 servings is what it says. So if you guys know if there's other flavors of that, let me know. I'm running out of space here. And they also had these. These are taco shells by Fieras and it's a 12 count, 4.8 ounces. Excellent. I love taco shells. I, I like crunchy shells. Hubby likes soft, like tortilla. And the best buy is May of 23, but I like the, um, the crunchy shells better. I just think they're so good. So I'm really curious to try this. We've never tried this brand before. I have no idea what they're, what they're like, but why does it look like it was open? It wasn't, but it sure looks like it, but it was not. So yeah, I'm really curious to try these. We actually had tacos just recently. I wish I would have had these shells then and I would have tried them and let you know, but it'll probably be another month or so before we end up having tacos again. I love tacos, but we don't do the whole taco Tuesday. We just have tacos when we want tacos. And then hubby grabbed a bag of these. He loves these chips. They're good. To me, they remind me of Ranch Doritos. I don't know what he would consider them, but that's the flavor of them to me. And they're the guac chips by the El Sabroso company. And it's a five ounce bag. He really enjoys these. He likes every chip that we have ever tried from this El Sabroso brand. 
And these are a smaller bag, so they don't go to waste. I mean, he would never eat this whole bag. This is probably five servings, at least, in this bag. But if we buy the big bags of stuff, we end up throwing a lot of it away. So these are great. What do you guys think of these if you've tried them? I know some of you love them. And then I needed a loaf of bread. So grab the loaf of bread. And this is the gold metal brand, gold metal bakery. And this is just the white bread. Grab some of that to have here on hand. It's delicious. I, we buy the, um, the low carb bread from Walmart, but you know, sometimes you need regular bread for items. And we, we picked this up and we really enjoy it. And I've made stuffing out of it and it makes excellent stuffing. It is, it is good, good, good bread. That's enough on bread. And then with Christmas coming, we went ahead and picked up some of the foil foil tins for leftovers. These are just so convenient and easy. And this is a two pack and these are a bigger size. Does it have the dimensions on here? These are an 8.35 in diameter and it's a two pack. And I wanted to show you they always had the lid sitting on top, the circular lid. Now they are actually between the pans. Like the, the pan is taped on both sides, but I opened these up to show you. The lids are inside, there, you get two lids, and then you have to unfold them. You have to take these little corner pieces off and unfold them to make your lid for on the top. So just so you, you know that, that, that's what that is on the inside. So don't throw the lids away because they're great. We love these. I love having them on hand. I love having them for get togethers. I love having them just for us. So yeah, these are a two pack and they do have other sizes as well. They have a smaller size and I believe you get three. So, but these were the ones we picked up. We got three packs. Yeah, we got three packs. So that should that should be plenty. And then guys, London had a request when I was up there. She was talking. She they're both very very crafty. Her and Harper both. And she is into sewing right now. She just loves to sit and sew and make her own little things. She's made clothes for her, her stuffed animals, all kinds of things. And she said that she would like me to teach her how to crochet. And I believe Harper would as well. So I picked up some crochet hooks. And these are sizes. These are like the um, plastic crochet hook. They have the plastic tops. And you get a two pack, which I think is an excellent deal. And one is the 4.0 millimeter and one is the 4.5 millimeter. And I also got them, I believe, oh no, this is a bigger one. These are the metal, metal aluminum hooks. This one is a 4.5. So we will have two 4.5s. And then this one is a little bit bigger and it's the 5.5. And they also have the nice little, they're hard, but a nicer grip handle on these. So I picked those up. So someday when we have time, we're gonna sit and I'm gonna teach the girls basic crocheting. I'm not the most professional crocheter in the world, but I do enjoy it. I'm, I'm very good at making straight lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and teach them. Several years ago, I crocheted them each a little, little afghan for on their on their beds and I made way back I made them each a um a little crocheted owl and they turned out super cute then I stuffed them and but anyway I thought while I was getting the crochet hooks I'd start picking up a little bit of yarn I don't know if this is the best deal in the world for any of you out there that do crochet or knit dollar 25 for this is is this a good deal I know yarn can be very very expensive this is 115 yards. They're both 115 yards and they're 100% acrylic. So I got them these two shades. This is like a light tan and then this is more of like a heathered gray. I got both of those just to go ahead and start something for them just to play with. But please let me know if this is a good deal or not or should I go ahead and go to you know, Hobby Lobby or something like that to pick up yarn. I haven't bought yarn in a very long time. But this feels super nice. 
very soft. So, all right, guys, that is it. If you like vanilla flavored coffees, don't be afraid to pick this up. If you like them sweet, you will have to add your own sweetener because like I said, this isn't sweetened, it's just flavored, but it's good. But my next one, I will definitely use less. It smells amazing. So, all right, guys, that is it for this haul. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff put away and move along with my day. I hope you're all doing well. If you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everyone. I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.